What's going on guys? So continuing the powerful angles that I did before, today we're going to be doing it on Breeze. Some, some of these are going to be a lot better than the other ones, uh, but you know, you could probably find worth in all sing every single one of them. Uh, so for B, I really like this angle. I think this angle is very strong. Uh, the reason for this is as they're coming out of B main, uh, they're usually clearing something like this, this, then they clear this, and then they really don't want to clear this, and then they're close left, right? As they're clearing this whole area, you're exposed from this angle, and it makes it a very powerful spot. Uh, after you get that kill, you know, you can kind of play the round how you're planning on playing it out. For Elbow, if you're playing something more aggressive like Jet Reyna, you, you know, you can have your knife out. The second the wall drops, you just knife around this corner. And you actually beat them here unless they decide to run, which you'll be able to hear them run. Um, but you want to put yourself in this pocket here uh, because it's not very intuitive when they're coming on this corner to kind of check this kind of stuff. Um, and I think you actually have the jump doing that. So... Uh, after you get the kill, you know, you can dash back, you can dismiss away. Also, if you're playing something a little bit more passive, uh, you can hold something like this. You want to make sure that you're not, you know, exposed from this. So you don't want to hold it too far back. Uh, as long as you're not exposed from this side of the wall, I think this angle is really strong. So uh, it watches everything crossing the double door, crossing mid, and then if they decide to walk up an elbow, all of this is kind of covered. Um, and, you know, it's not so straightforward for them to just kind of clear it. They're going to be hugging this right wall. As they're hugging the right wall, they're clearing nest, they're clearing tunnels and then after that you know they're, they're kind of working up towards double door and this is where you can catch them so unless they know about the angle they're not really going to be hard clearing it and it'll definitely net you some free kills and lower elo for a it's not that straightforward there's not really too many spots because of uh different walls and drones dogs all that stuff but um i noticed that i like this spot this is a good spot and this will definitely get you one kill at least um if you can manage to play there without any interruptions but the reason for that is you know as they're coming out they're they're going to be clearing a lot of these angles you know and then uh maybe they clear bridge here and then after that they clear you know door and then back as, uh and back box and as they're doing this they're going to be exposed from this angle um so you could probably get one free kill here and then you know continue playing out the round you can retake whatever um but yeah uh for halls halls is a little bit trickier because i don't think there's anything that's necessarily overpowered uh, everything has its own weaknesses and drawbacks like if you're holding something like this it's really strong if they're walking up on the on their left side um but if they decide to walk on the right side and they get close and then peek you you know you have to readjust and they actually have to jump on you uh you could play something like this where you can kind of like watch this angle you know you can Maybe from here, whatever, but this is uh, going to be hard cleared, right? They have nothing else to kind of look at. They're going to clear like this, like this, like this, and then they're going to hard clear you. So um, nothing really too strong unless you play a little bit further back or passive and watching it. But I feel like at that point, you're giving up too much space to work with, and I don't think it's very strong. So hopefully this helps. If you want anything else covered, let me know in the comments. I also stream on Twitch almost every day at Joel's TV. Other than that, guys, peace. Have a good one.